gold particles known for their intelligent properties were looked for to be scattered in Nibiru's climate to re-establish and ensure it. The Anunnaki at first conducting the mining themselves found the work dull and challenging. Their pioneer Anu who dwelled on Nibiru gotten reports of the turmoil among the Anunnaki on soil and their unwillingness to proceed with the strenuous labor within the tablets of the misplaced Book of Enki. The Ace of Shrewdness as Enki was regularly titled proposed an arrangement. The creation of an unused being his arrange was to genetically modify an existing animal on soil. One that was as of now very comparable to the Anunnaki. This animal was what we presently recognize as Homo erectus. Enki accepted that by controlling the hereditary structure of this being, they may make an animal competent in performing the labor. The Anunnaki found so burdensome this arrangement would not as it resolved, the gold mining issue but to possibly check the expanding plummet among the Anunnaki on soil. In this way the thought of making primitive laborious utilizing hereditary control was conceived impelling Enki into the heart of one of the foremost interesting and questionable accounts of human beginnings. His intelligence and information of science and hereditary control displayed in these antiquated stories assist characterize Enki's part as an ace shaper of life, digging into the old Sumerian accounts. We arrive at the urgent minute of the beginning of mankind, the creation of the Lulu Amalu or primitive Labor. The old writings counting the misplaced book of Enki detail a compelling and perplexing handle behind this creation in these Sumerian accounts. The term Lulu Amalu interprets generally to the blended Labor. This title itself infers a level of hereditary amalgamation suggestive of the exceptional strategies. The Anunnaki are said to have utilized, Enki regularly recognized in Sumerian cuneiform writings by the sobriquet Nudimid or cloner to play the key part in this yearning test. His information of life shapes hereditary qualities and creation flow impelled him to the bleeding edge of this endeavor. The account of the Lulu Amalu creation as nitty-gritty within the misplaced book of Enki is significant the content portrays a complex method of hereditary control and counterfeit incubation. Enki and Ninhursag the chief restorative officer of the Anunnaki are portrayed working together to control the hereditary fabric of the Homo erectus. Enki took cells from the Homo erectus and consolidated them with the Anunnaki's hereditary fabric. After the fertilization preparation, the fertilized egg was set interior the womb of a female Anunnaki, who acted as a surrogate. It is interesting to note the likeness of this account to the cutting-edge logical strategy of in vitro fertilization. This preparation in the long run drove to the birth of a half-breed, the primary Lulu Amalu as the story goes this modern being was effective in performing the assignment, it was planned for working within the gold mines. This victory is driven to the creation of more Lulu Amalu viably birthing, what can be considered the most punctual frame of humankind and exhibiting, the degree of Enki's impact in forming the course of life on soil moving on. We wander into the complex world of antiquated Sumerian writings that point towards an uncommon test driven by Enki. The ace shaper of these writings suggests an unheard of blend of Anunnaki and Homo erectus DNA, a deed that clues at the primary occurrences of hereditary alteration in our planet's history. A few elucidations of these old writings such as those by Zakaria Sitchin in his book The Twelve Planets, recommend this startling plausibility. Sitchin, known for his broad investigation into antiquated civilizations, 
gives a compelling case for the Sumerian accounts being strict documentation of extraterrestrial hereditary control inside the tremendous library of cuneiform tablets. We discover stories that portray Enki as the divine researcher able to manipulate and plan life within the accounts of Enki and Ninma, for instance. Enki is depicted as the one who coordinates the me who chooses the destinies, alluding to his profound wisdom and control over the creation of one of the most charming artifacts. Proving Enki's hereditary test is the seal of VA, 243, dating back to around 2200 BCE. This Akkadian barrel seal is now housed within the Vorderasiatisches Historical Center in Berlin. Portrays what shows up to be a star outline total, with a portrayal of our sun-based framework as caught on by the Sumerians, vitally within the seal, there are human and Ananarchy figures accumulated around a curious device Sitchin contends that this gadget is a representation of the creation chamber where the fertilized egg was embedded into the Ananarchy, surrogately. The seal serves as typical proof for the Ananarchy's dominance over life's beginning to prepare an Enki's driving part in it. Whereas these translations are questionable and talked about inside scholarly circles, they show a captivating investigation into the potential profundities of our hereditary history and its significant effects. Enki's assumed try had an impact on the course of human advancement. Currently, we navigate into the domain of Sumerian accounts, where Enki, in his interminable shrewdness and cleverness, blesses humankind with information. This watershed minute is told and retold in various old writings that ostensibly mark. The arousal of human awareness implies the daybreak of civilization within the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the most seasoned known works of writing. We discover the semi-divine Saint Gilgamesh looking for the privileged insights of life and passing. It's Enki who aids him on this journey, giving him the information required to get the riddles of presence. This story serves as a moral story for humanity's collective awakening to self-consciousness initiated by the Anunnaki's interventions, and the captivating aspect of these stories is the hypothesis that Enki's endowments might speak to the imparting of hereditary improvements or progressed information to early people. This concept is reflected in the tale of Enki and the Tree of Information. In this account, Enki, against the will of other Anunnaki, offers mankind the taboo information that leads to their self-awareness and independence, the Emmys in Sumerian mythology give another basic understanding. They are depicted as divine orders or widespread laws that Enki resists by passing on to people. A few scholars interpret these as progressed logical information or aptitudes conceivably showing the jump in human abilities that catalyzed the birth of civilization within the Sumerian Lord. The list we discover is a catalogue of kings ruling for immensely long periods, a few for tens of thousands of long times. This list starts with the words when majesty was brought down from paradise. An attestation recommending divine intercession in setting up human administration. Enki's part in this start of sovereignty further illustrates his significant commitment to human progress, whereas the truth of these translations remains covered in riddles, they paint a picture of Enki as a basic catalyst in the story of humanity's beginning. A celestial performing artist whose activities set the stage for the blooming of civilization. As we delve deeper into the antiquated writings, we experience a story that echoes across multiple civilizations. The tale of a disastrous surge in Sumerian writing this story is told within the epic of Zeusudra, 
a story bearing mysterious likenesses to the scriptural story of Noah's Ark. In this epic, Tsiusudra, known as the Utnapishtim group in afterward Akkadian writings, is the ruler, who, with divine help, survives a cataclysmic flood outlined to wipe out humankind. <laughs>